Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And in today's video, I absolutely want to cover the latest dev blog because we're getting the Dominix redesign. There is a date for it. Finally, finally. I've been waiting for that for so long. I think it's been two or maybe even three fanfests ago that we saw the first, um, the first uh, attempts from CCP at uh, redesigning the Dominix. They showed us some very nice uh, first ideas. I loved the idea. Uh, of that new Dominix, but now in the latest dev blog, it's finally uh, been announced. We're gonna get the new Dominix in August. So let's try and find uh, the dev blog. I usually go through the community website, and here we go the Dominix work in progress and a new R director. So CCP York is gonna take over. Um, he's actually already been working at CCP for eight years, and he's already been doing quite a bit with uh, from tick trees to uh, all of the. Uh, through three designs and of course all the recent ones as well so uh, it's good to know that uh, he's got a lot of experience but here is of course the Dominix redesign that they're working on can I just click on this for a moment yeah look at that I love this uh, I really do feel that it's gonna bring the Dominix uh, in in line uh, with uh, with other um, uh, recently redesigned ships and I still think that this absolutely looks like a Dominix. It, it just looks a bit sleeker, a bit more threatening, um, also maybe a bit more practical. Uh, it's not that wide anymore and uh, I actually do think that this looks absolutely great. And let me see, we are very excited to see the final version and it will hit your hangers in the upcoming release in August. So just one more release in July and then in August we'll have the new Dominix. That is absolutely awesome awesome news i can't wait to see that on cc and on tq and uh, hear that front look it actually looks a little bit more threatening than the current dominix i think it looks absolutely great uh, on top of that they're now going to focus apparently on some of the minmatar ships uh, which i think is uh, actually a good idea here is their idea for a stiletto redesign now i'm not that familiar with um with minmatar ships so let's go take a look if I can actually find it here stiletto is it with one L really stiletto ships yep there we go let's take a look at that so this is the current stiletto honestly I, I think that this already looks like a, a very good ship um, and uh, I really don't see anything wrong with it and then let's uh, jump back in on the redesign here. Flattened it out a little bit. Honestly, this, this still does feel like a stiletto. It's got this bug uh, appearance to it. And uh, if they can add to, um, to the detail on, on it, of course, it, it could make the model better. Although I would say, in my personal opinion, it doesn't really look like, uh, like a priority to me. And then here is their idea for a probe redesign. So let's also go take a look at the probe here although I do think that we all already know what that looks like and um, that the redesign there is actually not that far from the probe so here's the current probe um, yeah the left side here does look rather bulky uh, I do think that the model also shows a little bit its age uh, although the fins here I do still love them those Minmatar solar panels fins whatever you want to call it. So redesigning this probe right here to a probe like this, I think it could be quite okay, honestly. This is obviously has a lot more details on the model. It still uh, looks in general like a probe with a, with a wing on one side and then uh, the idea of, of a bit of a wing on, on the top here or like a shark fin, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think that both the probe and the stiletto do look fine. But now here we come to the treasure concepts. And honestly, that is probably going to be quite controversial. Because if I take a look at the treasher, which is a very iconic ship. What the hell? Treasure, please. Um, I should be able to find that, right? What? Oh, I forgot the H. There we go. So... Thrasher. That's what we're looking for. Of course, I don't fly Minimatar ships that often. Uh, but honestly, the Thrasher here, uh, it's already very iconic. And the fact that it's got this little gap here, the, the wings on the side, but not too overwhelming. Um, and uh, this is just a ship that you've seen so much already. 
I don't feel like this needs as dra drastic uh, a change as what, what they are apparently planning here with the redesign. So let's take a look at, at this. Uh, here are some of those Thrasher concepts. It almost looks like the Kaldari. Um, like one of those Kaldari submarine ships. So all of this looks a bit too big, a bit too bulky. Too much change as well. I don't really uh, uh, feel like any of these are that close to a Thrasher. Um, here they're closing in on the Thrasher redesign. You can't really tell that much from the angle. But over here, honestly, this is just too bulky. This is almost like two ships on, on each other. And... Uh, no, I think I would prefer the classical Thrasher just brought in line with a bit more detail on that. But but keep that a smaller, sleek ship that can still be deadly. This just looks like something completely different. This is almost something that, that would look like maybe a Tech 3 destroyer or something like that. Rather than uh, the good old Thrasher. Now here are some uh, possible variations. When you see the difference here with the brown main hull and then I guess the, uh, the dark grey... Um, cockpit here maybe this redesign here the middle one I think that could still be somewhat okay that's also probably the closest to the current trash or something like that would be okay but over here you know I, I feel that all of these gray cockpit areas are just way too massive uh, for what the trasher is and uh, so yeah they I think with the trasher that uh, they're trying to go a little bit too overboard uh, with, uh, with the changes, especially especially if I look at, at this redesign right here. I think the, dra the Thrasher is just a bit smaller and uh, feels like a more uh, compact, maneuverable uh, ship that's just well designed by the Minmatar to do its job and that's it. And, and this honestly just feels like it has got too many bells and whistles. Um, no, I think keep it a bit more simple for the Thrasher, that would be my opinion on this. Um, over here then there's a short story on community involvement with, uh, with the changes to the, um, to the caracal uh, where people did not like the very big nose um, at the bottom and then on reddit people just tried to make their own redesigns. Uh, it's good to know that, that CCP actually checks up on all that and takes that feedback to heart and they actually love it when, uh, when people come up with their own redesigns and, and share their own criticism of this. And so what's being born out of all of that is actually the new Cerberus right here with a much uh, smaller uh, front end here. And it's all been just made a bit more compact, but it definitely, I think, looks better uh, than the Caracal. I would fly this, uh, I would be much more likely to fly this than, than the Caracal, just looks wise. Uh, but yeah, CCP is listening. And uh, even with these redesigns, although they're very unlikely to change the Caracal at any time soon. They're actually going to change the Cerberus to something that's much more in line with what, uh, what the community wants. And they'll uh, be able to release this for the upcoming Aegis release already. So that's pretty damn awesome as well. We're actually going to get this one in July. And then over here, it's just the announcement that uh, CCP York is going to take over uh, from CCP Huskari as the... Um, as the art director uh, in EVE Online. CCP Ascari has actually been working for 15 years on EVE Online and he's now going to do something else. Uh, who knows? Another dev that leaves, of course. We don't like to see this. Uh, people do tend to uh, get a bit emotionally attached to the devs, but if it's time for him to move on to something new, then it is time for him to move on to something new. And personally, I'm very happy to see that uh, uh, CCP York, who already has like eight years of experience uh, in EVE Online, uh, takes over the torch there. I think he'll do uh, a great job. It's good to know that he's been uh, doing this type of work for quite a while. But yeah, check out that Dominic's. I can't wait. Bring on the Dominic's whenever you can because uh, I want to fly this new one. And then just, of course, add the Quave colors for uh, added effect. Anyways, that's it, guys. A uh, couple of art updates. All of this is coming now that uh, they're almost done with the V5++ shader thing. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to bring even more redesigns and hopefully they will continue to listen to the community whenever it comes to the redesigns. You know, I love... Uh, the Dominics, I, I do like the Stiletto and the Probe. They still look like uh, just modern versions of them. Maybe change a little bit. Uh, but I think and I hope that they will definitely listen to uh, people when it comes to the Thrasher. Because uh, this feels like uh, going overboard just a little bit too much. Out of all of these possibilities, I only 
uh, I think I only would like to maybe see one of them and that's this one right here and uh, that's actually the one that would change the least. I can still clearly see the three fins, the shape of uh, the trasher right there um, and, and I can still see the trasher in this one. All of the other ones look like too bulky, too complex, uh, not something that is uh, a first generation uh, Minmatar take one uh, ship in my opinion and I've seen a lot of comments uh, go along those lines already as well in the comment section of this dev blog so yeah there you go guys check it out if you want for yourself I'll put the link down below and make sure to communicate your comments with CCP uh, because I do think that uh, they're listening to us anyways that's it for this video thank you very much for watching I'll see you all next time